Welcome, I'm your host, Brian Maxwell. Today, we're gonna talk about how to do a dynamic walk around. But before I get started, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And once you subscribe, hit the notification bell and select all. That way, when the podcasts are coming out, you're notified. Any other videos and information I share, you get notified. I don't want you to miss out on this. Now, we're done with that, let's get to the business. Now, the dynamic walk around. What a lot of people make mistakes at, I watch salespeople who've done a great job greeting, they did a great job qualifying, but they go out to the vehicle and they drop the ball. They're standing at the front on their phone texting or just standing there and letting the customer walk themselves around. And guess what? Here's a tip and a secret for you. The customer is never going to build value in a product to help them justify why they should spend more money. If anything, they're going to be looking at it and they're going to devalue it so that way they can tell you they want it for less money. So let me explain to you and show you how you can maintain control during your walk around and build value. And at the end of the day, remember something, you cannot close what you can't control. So you want to start off where when you get done qualifying your customer and you've identified a vehicle, let them know what you're about to do. Hey, based on the information that you gave me, I believe we have exactly what you're looking for. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go check and make sure it's here because the last thing I want to do is get you all excited about it and it's no longer here because some people were asking about it yesterday. So I'll go get the keys to that, check on it, and I'll pull it around and you and I'll take a look at it, okay? So now you've informed your customer. Now you want to go out, get that vehicle, and pull it around. Please avoid making the fatal mistake of what I see salespeople do, which is identifying a vehicle, getting the keys, grabbing the customer, going out, and they have no idea where that particular vehicle is parked. So now they're hitting the panic button, walking around with their customer, and if it's hot outside, everybody's sweating. And it makes you look so unprofessional hitting the panic button, which is totally annoying, walking these people around the lot as if you have no idea what's going on. And guess what? What if you get to the vehicle and the last person left the lights on and the battery's dead? You think that person is still going to see the value in that vehicle if it doesn't even crank up or you can be able to let them listen to the radio, hear the feel the AC or any of that? No. Or what if somebody else showed it and it was raining the previous day and there was mud on the floor mats? Now you're showing them a vehicle that looks dirty. You want to make sure that when you go out to the vehicle, you have the opportunity to set the stage. If it's hot outside, crank on that AC. If it's cold outside, crank on that heat. If there's stuff on the inside of it, Flip those mats out, get the trash off, get those leaves off so that when you pull it up, you can present it in the best light. So now you got it pulled up. Make sure when you pull it up, you pop that hood. So you go in there and you get your customers and you start at that hood and you keep them engaged and involved. When you're explaining something to them, make sure you point out what the feature is, what life was like without it, and how having it will benefit them. I'll give you an example. Let's say the headlights on the vehicle, they have new uh, HID lights on it. So here's a way that you may be able to explain the feature, what life was like without it, and how it could benefit them. So hey, listen, John, you know, one of the things that most of the people that look at this vehicle really like is the fact that it has the HID lights on it. Now, the HID lights allow you to see further into the distance and wider across the road. Now, on older model vehicles, one, they didn't have this plastic protective covering. And this covering is made out of the same material that they make motorcycle helmets with. It helps keep rain out. It helps keep bug off the lights. And it helps your lights stay bright and protected and avoid any rocks hitting them and busting them. Now, back in the day, the older model vehicles that didn't have this type of protection, water can get in it. Bugs get on it and cloud it up. And if a rock skips from the tire of a truck and hits it, bam, it's broken. And if you make it an investment in a vehicle like this, you want to keep it looking nice as you can for as long as you can, right? Well, these lights, by allowing you to see further into the distance and wider onto the road, if there's a deer grazing on the side, or if there's somebody changing the tire, or if there's been some type of a, a issue going on, you can see it and be able to maneuver your vehicle the right way. In the older vehicles, the lights were a lot dimmer. They didn't see as far. So if a deer was grazing on the side of the road and the person was unable to see it to the last minute and it darts out, bam, there's a potential accident. But with these lights, by allowing you to see further, if that deer is grazing, guess what? You have the opportunity to maneuver over. And like we just said, making sure you make it home and your family makes it home in one piece is extremely important. And these lights will definitely help you do that. So I took a basic thing like lights and I explained the benefit of it. And that's how you want to present different things. What life is like, what, what the feature is, what life is like without it, and how it benefits them. And you start off at the hood and you take them around to the driver's side, to the trunk, to the passenger side. And after that, hey, you let them know, you know what? Let me give you an opportunity to enjoy it. But before we do that, let me do something. What's your favorite type of music? They may tell you, I'm going to do this. While you're riding, I'm going to let you listen to your favorite music in the vehicle. And here's a step to help them assume ownership. 
Instead of waiting to the end to program their phone, imagine if you program their phone to the vehicle right there during the, before they go on the demo drive. And when it asks for the name, guess whose name it is? Their name. And you go ahead and set it up for them. You have the phone named as their name and you put on their favorite music and you let them know, hey, listen, while you're riding, make sure you pay attention to how smooth it is. Make sure you pay attention to how simple you can utilize the, the steering wheel controls and show them if you haven't already. OK, you want to give them the information that they should be paying attention to while they're riding. All right. Now. When you're inside and you're showing them the different things, make sure you're not just doing it and talking about it. Or when you're outside showing them, don't just talk about it. Ask them to come over. If there's a way for you to have them touch things, for you to have them bend over with you, for you to be able to engage them. But the key thing is when you move from one point to another, make sure that you have their confirmation. So after you get through, let's say, showing them whatever it is you're showing them at the hood, let them know, hey, listen, at the end of the day, if you're making an investment in a vehicle like this, I'm sure you want to keep it looking as good as you can, as long as you can, right? Right. Okay, let me show you this other feature. Because if they don't confirm, they might not understand or agree. And you want to make sure they agree. So doing the walk around, make sure you maintain control. Make sure you take them around the vehicle. Make sure you educate them on what to pay attention to on the demo drive, okay? And how well you qualify will dictate how well you're able to present what this feature is and how it benefits them. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. All right. I'm Brian Maxwell. We're going to be coming at you with another podcast next. We're going to be talking about education versus negotiation. Other than that, make sure click that link. Go get started. I look forward to seeing you on the coaching calls and I look forward to seeing you at the dealership over and out.